Hello, my dear students. Little progress each day adds up to big results. So each and every day we have to keep on working. So we will and we shall keep on working. Yes? Now, today again we will continue with the same topic. Reported speech. This is part 2. And we'll deal with exclamatory sentences. Now, when we talk about exclamatory sentences in reporting a wish or an exclamation in the indirect speech, then the reporting verb say or tell is changed into wish. Bless, pray, cry, exclaim, declare, confess, cry out, etc. With such phrases as with regret, with delight, with joy or sorrow, this is put whenever it is necessary. Yes? Next, the interjections and exclamations such as Oh, well, hooray, alas, bravo, curse it are omitted and their sense is expressed by means of phrases. And the exclamatory form is changed into a statement and the note of exclamation is replaced by a Full stop. Now I have got some examples here. Yes? In a direct speech, we say, He said, God save my son. When you say the same sentence in indirect speech, we say, He prayed that God might save his son. You see, we have used the word prayed. Yes? Next. Again in direct speech, when we say, they said, hooray, we have won the match. You can see the exclamation mark here. Now, when the same sentence is said in indirect speech, we say, they exclaimed. Understood? We use this word, exclaimed with delight that they had won the match. Now, you can see in indirect speech, the exclamation mark is removed. Again, the third example. In direct speech, we say, She said, Alas, he is dead. In direct speech, we say, She cried out with sorrow that he was dead. Yes? Now, again, the fourth example. Direct speech. What a horrible accident it is! Exclamation mark. He said, when we say the same sentence in indirect speech, we say, he exclaimed, you see, we use the word exclaimed, that it was a horrible accident. Now, interrogative sentences. In reporting a question in the indirect speech, the reporting verb is changed to asked, inquired, demanded, etc. Whether or if is used after such an introductory verb. Whenever the direct question admits of one of two answers, that is yes and yes or no. The mark of integration which is placed after questions in the direct speech is replaced by a full stop. If the question begins with an interrogative pronoun or an interrogative adverb such as what, which, when, whose, who, where, how and why, the same word is used in the indirect speech to introduce the words spoken by the speaker. For example, Direct speech, we say, he said to us, open inverted comma, are you going away today? And question mark, close inverted comma. The same sentence if we have 
have to say an indirect speech. We say he inquired of us whether we were going away that day. And the full stop is here. Yes, you can see how question mark is replaced by a full stop in indirect speech. Next, direct speech. He said to me, comma, open inverted comma, do you know the way, question mark, close inverted comma. When we say the same thing in indirect speech, we say, he inquired to me if or whether I knew the way, full stop. Next example, direct speech. She said to me, comma, open inverted comma, why did you write to me such a rude letter, question mark, close inverted comma. When we say it in an indirect speech, we say, she demanded of me why I had written such a rude letter to her, full stop. Students, if you want to live a happy life, tie it to a goal, not to people or things. So you should have an aim in life, a goal in life. And this will take you a long way. Stay safe. Now I'll tell you the answers of the questions on page number 64 which I had given you as your last assignment. Number 1 will have Number 2 will be waiting Number 3 will be Number 4 will be enjoying Number 5 will be having Number 6 will reopen Number 7 will retire Number 8 will be reaching Number 9 will be traveling Number 10 will increase Number 11 will be spending Number 12 will be waiting Now exercise 2 Number 1 will have learned. Number 2 will have been learning. Number 3 will not have started. Number 4 will have been looking. Number 5 will have finished. Number 6 shall have been learning. Number 7 will have taken. Number 8 will have been supporting. Number 9 will have completed. Number 10 will have been sitting. Answers of the questions on page number 71. Number 1. No other book that I have read is longer than War and Peace. Number two, there is no truth in whatever he said in the meeting. Number three, the task was difficult but it brought him the much needed recognition. Number four, little did I expect him to stand first in the class. Number five, she is writing down his address lest she should forget it. Number six. I wish I had bought that house. Number seven. The cold weather did not prevent many parents from being present. Number eight. No other institution in our area is as progressive as my school. Number nine. The ceremonies will start as soon as the priest arrives. Number 10. There was no justification 
for the criticism of the principal. Now, the B part. Number one, O double F, off. Number two, through. Number three, into. Number four, O double F, off. Number five, aside. Number six, down. Number seven, over. Number eight, down. Number nine, for. Number ten, on. Now the C part. Number one, navigates. Number two, having. Number three, have been. Wanting. Number four, feels. Number five, completed. Number six, was planning. Number seven, needed. Number eight, wanting. Number nine, to drive. Number ten, riding. Your assignment for today is please do page number 73, 74, 75, 76 and 79 of your total English book.